and you'll see how beautiful the color will end up at the end literally so guys look at this korma it looks amazing it's like the restaurant korma and this right now is just a korma but we are preparing the rice because i prefer to cook the korma first this is a non-stick pan so we don't really need to use that much oil as you can see it looks amazing we have our chicken in there this is chicken biryani by the way if you didn't know what biryani we were cooking so guys we already mixed the biryani masala into our chicken we actually added chilies now into the curry which we did not have before but the reason why we have the chilies in the curry is because we want it spicy look at the rice look at how fluffy it is i've tasted it and by the way guys this is the basmati long rice so guys we pre-oiled um, our pan but for the saffron take out like a couple of leaves they look so beautiful and now i have hot water here be careful guys don't burn yourself when you use it the saffron is actually turning the water yellow oh whoa <laughs> the smell is so good it kind of smells like flour so guys um whenever you start biryani i highly recommend always put like a thin layer of your curry so guys after you have put your first layer your first thin layer of curry you should now start to put like a little bit of your coriander and mint leaves just gently sprinkle it do a light sprinkle now it is time for the first spoon of rice oh look at this this is already starting to be colored by the actual curry because of the color from the curry just looking guys in this pot is making my mouth water so much so guys when putting the rice make sure to actually completely cover the curry so guys i'm just taking it little by little and then just nicely spreading it everywhere it's time to wet the whole area of the rice so guys now we're gonna add the rest of the curry and the rest of the rice into this pot so as you can see we have layered the thin layer of curry now before the rice we actually have to add more coriander and mint so guys now i'm going to spread the rice just gently God, this looks amazing. It is gonna be so delicious when I try it. It's time to add the rest of the saffron water. So again, oh, I got a saffron piece. Nice. So guys, now it is time for the Kewara water. So guys, now I'm going to put two tablespoons of the Kewara water. That is one enough. Just it is time for more of the food dye food powder food color powder so guys now i have my ground nutmeg as you can see and um, you basically just sprinkle it on your biryani and it makes your biryani smell so good and taste so good it just gives that little hint of flavor so you just can like spread it around the biryani how you could spread salt now I really like fr fried onions in my biryani because it actually gives it a bit more flavor and it makes it sweet so like when you have your biryani it's like you feel something sweet and like something soft and that's more of like either the chicken or like the chicken gives it the softness and then the onions give it like that hint of sweetness and it matches so well with the nutmeg. So guys, now I have gotten my foil paper and now I'm going to put it onto the pot. Just nicely go, just careful when doing this because the pot is quite hot. So guys, we just covered this whole pot with the foil paper and now so now the air can't escape which will give the biryani more taste and I'm going to add the lid on top so for extra security and there we go. Now we leave it to sit like this for 10 to 15 minutes. So see you in 10 to 15 minutes or when the biryani is ready to eat. So guys finally the time has come. I can now open the lid. 
It is quite a lucky little bit, guys. Oh my god, it smells amazing! Wow, amazing! Ooh, look at that steam! Okay, so now I've mixed it a little bit and I'm gonna take a little piece. Oh, I have a chicken piece. The chicken, guys, is so soft. I literally just stuck the spoon in and boom, it literally broke in half. This is like a ridiculously soft. So that's the spoon that I'm gonna take. Whoa. It's probably extremely hot since it's freshly made. Delicious! Amazing. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> but anyway guys, this is the end of the video. So, we'll see you next time. Happy Ramadan and bye! Make sure to subscribe, make that bell go ding ding to get notified whenever I post a new video. See you next time. Bye!